What's up, y'all? It's Hajime Academia here, bringing you another manga discussion. This time, I'm talking about Record of Ragnarok. This is a current series, which has 19 chapters so far, and I just got caught up on it, so I'm going to be telling y'all what it's about, and what it is trying to do, what it is not trying to do, and what I like about it, what I don't like about it. So let's jump into it with what is Record of Ragnarok about. So it begins with a meeting of the gods, and they've got gods from all types of religions that you can think of, um, and they're all gathering to decide the fate of humanity. Apparently this meeting happens every thousand years, where they come together and decide whether or not to allow humanity to continue its existence. Uh, their leader is Zeus, he's in the center, and he asks the gods, yay or nay, should the humans be allowed to continue their existence? Now, they babble a little bit, and eventually they decide, nay, the humans should no longer exist. Let's eradicate them. And so Zeus is bringing down his gavel to finalize this decision, and humanity will be wiped out when a Valkyrie steps forth and invokes the right of Ragnarok. Now, what is Ragnarok? Okay, so what's going to happen is there's going to be this tournament to decide the fate of humanity, uh, in which the humans... So we'll battle the gods in one-on-one -on -one fights. Uh, so there's going to be 13 humans, 13 gods, one-on-one -on -one battles until one side has won seven victories. Uh, then it'll be over. So the side that wins seven victories is the victor. And they, if the humans win... They will live for another thousand years, after which the gods will once again have their meeting and uh, decide the fate of humanity again. If the gods win, then humanity will be eradicated right there. Uh, okay, so that's the premise of Record of Ragnarok. Now, uh, there's not really much more to this manga than that. Uh, so what is this manga trying to do? Uh, what it is trying to do is bring together these super powerful characters and have them clash. You know, you've, and you've, so you've got these humans who are fighting for all of humanity uh, versus uh, gods who are all powerful. Now, granted, the humans they bring in are super powerful, like god level power, but they're still humans. And the gods are gods. So you get that struggle from human versus god. Uh, and we really get these huge fights with these really cool action sequences with really killer ultimate moves. Everybody's got several ultimate moves. Um, so that's what the manga is trying to do, is just bring you these god tier level fights with awesome action. Now, what is this manga not trying to do? It is definitely not trying to emotionally grip you or to develop any sort of characters at all. Uh, if you're looking to get invested in characters, then this is not the manga for you because you're not going to have enough time to get invested in these characters. They don't appear for long enough. Uh, the main character is the oldest Valkyrie, and you're still not you don't even get much character development from her uh, other than her facial expressions which there's a lot of them <laughs> she has some crazy faces uh, so things i like about the manga are that it doesn't take itself seriously it it knows not to take itself seriously uh, and it, so you can kind of laugh at it when it when it seems like it's being a little bit serious you know that it's still being funny and I like the the main Valkyrie girl. Her faces, those are funny. Uh, every time she gets upset, her face is hilarious. Um, I also love the characters that they introduce here on the humans' side. Actually, the gods' side, too. Uh, on the human side, you get these characters from history like Nikolai Tesla, Rasputin, uh, King Leonidas. Uh, you got Adam from Adam and Eve. Okay, not exactly historical. Maybe. Uh, and... I just love every time they introduce one of these human characters, I can go and I can look up who they were, not just the ones that are fighting also, even in the stands, they have all these humans that are cheering and there's interesting people in the stands even. And I go and I look up who these people were and I find out they lived these amazing lives. And I'm just like, how did I never hear about these people before? They were amazing people. 
And uh, so I love that. I love looking up these historical figures and learning about them. And on the God side, you have these interesting gods that I've never heard of. And I can go and look up who they were, what sort of religion are they from, and what sort of people worship this God. Uh, and uh, what was the God known for? What was it the God of? It's all interesting stuff to look up. Um, so that's one of the things I really like about the manga. That's probably the best thing aside from the fights is the historical figures that you can go and look up. Now they completely botched their historical accuracy in this manga. So if you're looking for historical accuracy, you don't, don't come here, but uh, yeah, you, at least they're introducing you to the character that who this person was. So you can go and look them up and learn what they actually, who they actually were. Now uh, on to the artwork. So I liked some of the panels. Some of the panels are really, really nice. And so that's something I can respect. But throughout most of the manga, it's just decent. Just decent artwork. Um, and that actually leads me into some of the stuff that I don't like about the manga is the artwork. Uh, there are a couple of panels that are just bad that I don't like, that I think look bad. And, and it's, that's just, it's just sad. Uh, that shouldn't happen. Um, other things I don't like are obviously the lack of character development and the lack of emotional grippingness. Uh, cause you know, you get the awesome fights, but without being emotionally gripped or connected to either character, it's not as impactful as it could be. Mm. Now, even though they don't develop the characters enough or get you emotionally connected to the characters, I do have to mention that the character designs here are always cool i like that's uh, another thing that i like the character designs so they're always interesting in a way that you wouldn't expect um people they're just not the typical representations of these gods or these people that we've come to know and, and i like that i like that they g give you something unexpected they made a unique design for this god that we haven't seen before or a unique design for this human that's nothing like what they looked like as an actual human, but it's still cool. Um, yeah. So those are my thoughts on Record of Ragnarok. If it sounds cool to you, if you're just into the big battles, God level fights, then yeah, check it out. Um, otherwise, if you're looking for emotional grippingness, then uh, you should probably look elsewhere. All right. Uh, thanks for checking out the video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit notifications, and I'll catch you on the next video.